Many homeowners face the frustration of dealing with hard water stains, dry hair and skin, and damaged pipes, laundry, and fixtures. If you're tired of the constant maintenance and expense, salt-free water conditioners may offer a safe and effective solution. By preventing scale formation and preserving your pipes and appliances, you'll enjoy a lot of the same benefits of water softeners, such as no scale buildup in your pipes, no scale buildup in your appliances, and better results in the shower and laundry, all without the problems of traditional water softeners, which use salt and have wastewater. Let's get started. Hey, welcome back to the Clean Water Store. My name is Jerry Bolfin, WQA Master Water Specialist, where we provide innovative solutions and knowledge to help you improve your water. So there are quite a few different types of salt-free water conditioners that are called water conditioners. Sometimes they're called water softeners, but we don't use that term because Really, a water softener physically removes the calcium and magnesium from the water. And in a traditional water softener, it's removing these hardness minerals and substituting a sodium ion in place. So salt-free water conditioners work by transforming the calcium in the water in the scale into microscopic seed crystals that then will not stick to pipes or appliances or surfaces. So. There are different ways to achieve it. Some companies uh, sell magnets that uh, are electric um, field magnets that wrap around pipes. And uh, some use a catalytic water conditioner that has different types of metals that are as a catalyst as the water flows through it. It tries to achieve this same result. But there is a study done by the University of Arizona and they basically tried various different types of these systems on heat exchange to see what the scale results would be. And actually, I put a link to this study in the description below. But essentially, what it found is that the, the type of uh, resin-based uh, media that we're using now, that we called template-assisted crystallization, or TAC, that has the most uh, effect, it has the most profound effect to create this a uh, situation where the water has these forms microscopic seed crystals. So we found that the, the TAC type, the template assist crystallization type, by far works the best. And we've been using these for some years now, and we have gotten a lot of feedback from customers. And uh, generally what they say is they, they do notice an effect and that the water is feel softer and scale does not build up in their fixtures and their pipes like it did before. So essentially the way they work is that the water flows through a tank, looks sort of like a water softener. It, it's a tank that's generally about eight or nine inches diameter by say 40 inches tall. And as the water flows through there, these resin beads inside expand in the tank and form like a cloud inside the tank. And they're, these beads are inert. They don't add anything into the water, but what they do is that they allow a place for these the, the calcium and magnesium to form these crystals that then enter the water and just don't stick to your pipes. They work really well. The, the media lasts for about three to five years. So after a few years, you do have to unscrew the top, dump the old media out and add media back in. But during that whole time, you've had the benefits of adding no salt, no wastewater. There's no electricity involved. So there's no backwash or water going down the drain. So there's, um, depending on the water chemistry and what you're trying to achieve, the salt-free water conditioners are a great option for you to consider if you have hard water. Like a lot of things that sounds too good to be true, then why doesn't everybody use these? In fact, we do sell a lot of water softening systems that use salt. And the reason for that is these crystals are being formed, but they're not removed. So if the water evaporates on a surface, it's the minerals are there. So you're not softening the water. You're not removing the minerals from the water. When it evaporates on a surface, say a shower door or on a fixture, you will see the white. Um, but the difference is the feedback we've gotten and how it's supposed to work is that it's a lot easier to remove. It isn't this baked on scale that you got to chip off. It's generally like a powder and it's much easier to clean. So it is does make it a little easier to clean, but you still have the actual minerals in the water. If you had a situation, which most people don't, but if you had like a boiler or some certain types of industrial or commercial applications, you'd want a water softener. And then the other thing is, is that 
a lot of times people come to us and they say, you know, I've had a water softener for years. I have super hard water and I'm just sick of the salt. I don't want to carry the salt around. I'm going to get one of these salt free water conditioners. And we try to, to educate them saying, you may be surprised because what's, what's going to happen is if your water is hard enough, like, if, like hardness is measured, at least here in the U S in grains per gallon. So if your water is say three to five grains per gallon, it's hard. If it's 10 grains, it's pretty hard. It's over 15 grains. It's super hard. So, uh, when it gets over 15, 20, 25 grains per gallon, which can happen mostly on well water, or if you're in a city that uses groundwater, um, people generally prefer the softeners because it's still hard and it feels hard. So you're still going to get, and you get a lot more white build up if you have super hard water when it, but pe people do use these. You can use these up to 50 grains per gallon of hard water. It's just, you're not going to feel the same or have the same feeling as a water softener. A lot of people like the, the silky feeling or some people call it slippery feeling of a water softener that it's using the salt to clean the softening resin. So you're getting actual, the hardness removed from the water while having a water softener to one of these, they may not be happy. Uh, but generally, um, of all the ones we sold, people are very happy and they've come back and changed the resin after some years. And they we've gotten, we get pretty regular feedback on that. The other, the other point to consider, especially if you're on city water to get a really good effect and feel the water is much better. We often recommend you combine the salt free water conditioner with an activated carbon system. It can be just a simple upflow carbon. It could even be a carbon cartridge, although we don't recommend cartridges because you have to change them too frequently, but a another tank of activated carbon. And basically what happens is the, the combination of treating the water with a salt free resin, the scale stopper resin and filtering with carbon makes the water really nice. So you have the feeling that the water just feels better. It tastes better. It smells better. And then again, you have the same thing. You have no wastewater, no cartridge change, no salt. So that combination has been very popular and there are many sold similar to this on the web. I'll put a link in the description below. You can see the ones that we have on our site. They're very popular. So let's go over again, some of the key advantages to using the scale stopper and the salt-free water conditioners. One, obviously are the health benefits. There's no added sodium in the water. And so it keeps all the minerals in the water. Secondly, environmental impact. There's no wastewater. There's no um, power used. And so you're just treating the water, but you're not having to, to put any water out, wastewater out in the environment. Third, maintenance. There's very low maintenance because you're not, there's nothing you need to do. You don't have to add salt. There's no filter cartridge to change, but every few years, three to five years, depending on how much water you use, you do need to unscrew the top and dump it out. But it's a simple thing. It's not hard to do. So there's much less maintenance with the scale stopper and the salt free water conditioners. Finally, cost effectiveness. You have to admit it's, it is cost effective. If it's works for you and you're happy, then depending on your water chemistry and your situation, then, um, people, most people that got them, they love them and they realize they've saved a ton of money over the years because they're not buying the salt. They're not driving the store to pick up the salt. They're not having to, uh, use extra water for the wastewater for the water softener. So it does pay over years. And if you'd like to find out how hard is your water, and if a scale stopper, salt free water conditioner would be good for you, we have a simple test kit that can test for hardness many times, including total salt solids, pH and other contaminants in your water. And I put a link in the description below, just go get yours and you can easily test the water right in your home within minutes, find out for yourself. So if you have a water softener out and you want to switch to it, we recommend first testing your water and seeing how hard the water is. Or if you're in the city, you look for your consumer confidence report online and you find out what the hardness is. And if you have questions about it, just you can contact us so we can answer any questions you have about if you think it's right for you. But generally you first decide um, what, what you're after. If you want soft water where it's zero soft and you have the salt, or you want to just treat the water so it protects your piping, your plumbing, your appliances, and the, the hardness minerals will be in the water, but they just won't be in a form that'll cause problems for you then the scale stopper is a good alternative. So I gave you a good overview of the advantages of the salt free water softener. And I filmed an entire series of videos that go deeper into each one of these topics. 
just click the video that's on your screen right now and I'll see you there.